Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm back today for another player interview. Today, I'm going to be interviewing a six foot one sophomore guard that's moving from Dodge City Community College at the junior college level to the Division One level in Louisiana Lafayette in the Sun Belt Conference. This dude's an absolute bucket getter, and more importantly, he's a leader for his team. I'm talking about Themis Folks. This dude last season for Dodge City helped lead his team all the way to the national championship. They won a regional championship, and not only did he make himself look good, he made his teammates around him look good. The definition of a pure point guard and a pure leader. He's a great guy. I've been talking to him a little bit over the past few weeks. I can't wait to get him on here and ask him some questions. Hey. Hey, what's going on, man? What's good? What's good? What's going on? I like the hat. I like the hat. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Hey, man, congrats. I just want to start this off and say congrats on signing with Louisiana. They're a great team. They're getting a great leader and a great point guard in you. So that's awesome, man. Congrats on that. Hey, appreciate it. It means a lot. Absolutely, man. Hey, not only are they getting a great player, but they're getting a guy with a lot of experience. This is your second Division One team that you uh, signed with now. Uh, before you were at South Carolina State, before moving to Dodge City. Uh, talk to me about that Division One experience that you already have. How did it help you guys out during this past year at uh, Dodge City? And how is it going to continue to help you out this upcoming season with Louisiana? Uh, I think it helped me out a lot, just playing against um, the best of the best, um, competing every single day, um, winning as a freshman, didn't really know what to expect, uh, just going through a full college season with the ups and the downs and um, highs and lows and really just figuring it out and then everything – I learned throughout my whole year at South Carolina State. I soaked it in, took it down to Dodge City with me, and um, really just started to figure it out. And I hope now when I go down to Louisiana, I can bring my experience, bring my leadership, and we can figure it out. We can win. Seven points a game at South Carolina State in a season that a lot of you guys probably want to forget one in 17 overall in the season during that COVID season. But thankfully that didn't count towards your eligibility. So talk to me a little bit about how happy are you that that didn't count towards your eligibility and how did that motivate you to improve your game after going through something like that? Uh, well, I mean, it really helped. Like, I was really thankful that the year didn't count. So it was really like a, like a, like a learning year, like a lot of people don't get like one year in college where they can just, unless you get redshirted. And I had the luxury to play through my mistakes and really figure it out. We had a young team. We had a, at one point it was a freshman starting, sophomore, freshman, freshman, freshman. So we all was figuring out together. And towards the end of the year, we really started to understand and started to click. But, you know, with COVID, every time, some, every time we have a game or something, we get shut down because – COVID, somebody catch COVID, so it's a little frustrating. But I mean, I really, I really think that year helped me because we played against the Clemsons. We played against uh, what's maybe we played against Fern. Like we played against really good competition. And I think that without that season, I don't think I would have been as ready for Dodge City as I was when I got there. Mm -hmm. Like you said, after South Carolina State, you moved on to Dodge City, and right. you definitely were ready. You guys won the regional championship, made it to nationals in Kansas. You yourself, 17 points, five and a half assists a game. Not only were you getting buckets for yourself, but you were creating shots for your teammates. I mean, you guys had an incredible team. Nick Pringle, B.J. Freeman, Kalen Williams, all of them going to the Division One level. Omar as well. Talk to me about the talent level of this Dodge City team and what was so special about it. Uh, we play, I played with a lot of great players, like a, a lot of good players. And, um, I mean, every day in practice, I mean, me competing against New Mexico State transfer, North Texas transfer, uh, Wofford transfer, like playing against basically the cream of the crop, it was like it just got me better. And once them guys really seen that, I was for real, and I could lead. I could lead us. I could, I could handle everybody. Um, emotions, you know how it is on a basketball team. People have emotions. People got egos. When people started to realize that I was kind of the guy to really um, figure out ways to make everybody happy, 
it was smooth sailing, and we started to win a lot of games. We won like they won thirty games this year. So I think that was the biggest key, just um, just showing because you know we had a really talented team. Just showing everybody that I can keep everybody in control, and I can just lead us to where we need to go to. Yeah, and you guys went exactly to where you needed to go to. Like I said, <laughs> regional champions. I mean, just absolutely dominated your conference, 30-5 and five overall. So, like you said, that 30, 30 wins, that's impressive. Very few teams were able to do that right. across the country at the junior college level. And, I mean, made it to nationals, made it past first round against Snow, then ended up losing to the eventual national champs in northwest Florida. But, like you said, great competition every single night, both in practice and in games. Right. What was – you guys had – not only are you guys all moving to the Division One level, your coach is actually going with B.J. Freeman to Milwaukee as a coach. I know he really helped improve this program overall. B.J. Freeman just joined, of course, right when I say that. Right. Um, talk to me about your guys' coach. What did he do to help lead your team to this level? Uh, I mean, I think that he did a good job of um, – managing everybody i mean with talent i mean not not a knock on them but you know with talent i mean you don't really have to coach too much it is really just making sure everybody's bought into what we're trying to do which is win like guys don't get caught up in the okay i got six points right now it's five minutes left going again i need to jack up a couple shots so i mean i think ultimately i think he just um i think he just did a good job of with me just handling everybody's emotions and um, just letting everybody know, like, we need to win. And if we all win, everybody eat off of it. So I think he did a pretty good job of doing that and um, stuck with it throughout the whole year, and that's what helped us a lot. Mm -hmm. And that's great leadership, making sure you guys have the right kind of mentality. Right. And you never seem to be uh, short on points, of course. You had – 12 games of 20 plus points you had two games of 30 plus including 33 in that regional championship game talk to, talk to me a little bit about that regional championship game what was your impact would you say on that game as far as your role as a whole uh i mean i ain't, I ain't gonna lie to you that the, the the regional like when we got down to selena or selina whatever you call it we got down and i played terrible well, i didn't play terrible but I didn't play as good as I thought I could the first time, <laughs> the first game. And I was mad about it. And I told Coach Jake all about it. I was like, I got to play better. We won, but I played bad. So that last game, I was just like, in my head, I was like, I'm just not going to do too much. And if I'm scoring, cool. If I'm not scoring, we got guys who can't score. So I just, I mean, it just happened. I just had one of them nights and found a way to win, which was ultimately what I was trying to do, just find a way to win and make it to Hutch. Mm -hmm. And that's what you guys did. You guys made it to Hutch. Like I said, I, I say it a thousand times every time I talk to you, Nick, BJ, phenomenal season. Absolutely. One, one for the history books. I know you guys were named as team of the year uh, at your school during the awards and all that. Um. Yeah. But now you're heading from Dodge City to Louisiana, a team that is very good in the Sun Belt. They had a little bit of an off year this year with some injuries, but they're bringing back a lot of their roster, including their top two scorers, uh, you know, both of them big men. Talking about going to Louisiana, what was it about Louisiana specifically that made you want to go to the boot? Uh, I mean, first – I really wanted to go to a spot where um, I had a good relationship with my coaches, and um, I just wanted to be around good people. First of all, like I like it's, a, it's in a college season, like it's a long year, so you want to be around people you can be around every day because it's like a grind every single day. So like, ultimately, that was number one: just be around good people, and then next, it was just ultimately they have a chance to. They had a chance last year to win, but I mean, it was games where they was, it was like eight games last year. They was up with 10 minutes left going to game and they lost. And say they win three, four of them games. They looking at 
they're at the top of the conference, they're the middle of the conference. So it was like, I think that it was, it was just a place where I fulfilled what they needed and I could be myself. So I think that, and um, I like Louisiana. I like the food. I like the atmosphere, the arenas, 12,000 seat arena. Like it just checked a lot of boxes for me. So um, that's, that's really, that's really what came down to the decision. And my parents really liked it too. They, my parents got a good relationship with Coach Marlin and Coach Brock and all them. So everything just checked a lot of boxes, to be honest. Mm-hmm. That's good. Got to enjoy the place that you're going to play at. It sounds like you're really looking forward to it. Yeah. You know, Louisiana, the past, this past season, they really ran a lot of through a lot of their offense through their bigs. You talk about Jordan Brown and Kobe and Julian, who are both coming back for next year, mm-hmm. as well as Theo Okuba, who's now going to Ole Miss. Mm-hmm. Uh, you're coming in, hopefully, you know, as one of those main guards. I know you're the main guard in the recruiting class right now. Mm-hmm. What is your role looking like? What are you hoping to do primarily for this team from a guard standpoint? Uh, same thing I did at Dodge, just continue to lead, um, continue to be unselfish, continue just to make it easier for um, my teammates. I mean, I'm not trying to come in and put up 20 shots, 30 shots. I'm not, not trying to do that. I'm trying to just come in and, I mean, scoring is natural. So, I mean, making plays for my teammates is natural. So, if scoring comes, scoring comes. If I got to make 20 assists and zero points, I'll do that. 20 points, zero, like whatever the coach really needs me to do. But ultimately, just get guys in the right spots and just win. That's what I'm trying to do. Just win makes a tournament. Mm-hmm. And you guys are going to be trying to make it through the tournament in a good Sun Belt Conference. You talk about Georgia State. South Alabama, Appalachian State. They're actually bringing in Southern Miss, who just signed a good buddy of mine that was a teammate of yours at South Carolina State, Sebastian. Yeah, man. Uh, yeah. Any team that you're really looking forward to playing against this season in that conference? All of them. Every, sing- every single one of them. Um, can't wait. Uh, if I had to pick one, probably, probably Appalachian State. Probably. They right up the street from the crib. Had a chance to recruit me. Didn't really – Pull the trigger, really? I probably out. Probably out. Hey, hey, show them, show them why they should have recruited you. Right. Why right. they should exactly. Right. All right, man. I'm really happy to have you on here. Uh, I appreciate you being on here with me, man. I mean, there's going to be so many highlights for you this season. I can't wait to see what you do at Louisiana. <laughs> yes, sir. I can't wait to be down there. Appreciate you. Anytime, man. Thank you so much. Uh-huh.